Assalamu alaikum, little friends. Welcome back to Islamic Kids National. Today, we're going to learn about Surah Al Ikhlas. Did you know that this surah is equal to one third of the Quran? That's amazing, right? The Quran has more than 6,000 verses, and this small surah is so special that it's equal to one third of the Quran. So let's visualize this. Think of that in a pie chart, or you could think of it as a pizza. This one third here, or this slice here, is Suratul Ikhlas. And these other two thirds, the other two slices, is the Quran. That's a big part, isn't it? That makes the surah very special, along with many other surahs, which we are going to learn in our coming videos. So stay tuned for that. But before we learn the meaning of this amazing surah, you may be thinking, what is the story of Surah Al Ikhlas? How did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveal it? Well, let's find out. So one day, some people in Mecca who didn't believe in one God, who did not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, came to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and asked, Tell us about your God's family. To answer them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, a special chapter, surah, in the Quran called, and we all know what it is, Surah Al Ikhlas. That was when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this magnificent surah. Very short story, but very meaningful. So let's dive deeper into the wonderful meanings of this surah. As always, we begin by saying, repeat after me, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, which means, in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most kind. Repeat after me, Qul huwa Allahu ahad, which means, say, He is Allah, who is one. There is only one God. And he is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ayah 3. Repeat after me. Allahu samad. Which means, Allah, the eternal refuge. Basically what this means is Allah is our eternal protection. We will always go to Allah to seek protection. The next ayah. Repeat after me. Lam yalid wa lam yulad, which means Allah doesn't have children and he was never born. The next ayah, repeat after me. Wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad, which means nor is there to him any equivalent, which means there is no one that is like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is alone and just one. So now it's time to memorize. You are now going to learn reciting the surah with the voice of the Qari. Are you ready? Let's go. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ Let's keep going. Are you ready? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٍ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدٍ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ One more time. Are you ready? Let's go. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. And that's it. Wasn't that amazing? I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And I hope you got to learn something new today. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. 
Let's spread the wonderful words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Stay tuned for more videos in which we will learn the meaning of other surahs, inshallah. The next video releasing after this will be about Surah Al-Falak. So stay tuned for that. I will see you in my next class, kids. Goodbye!